hello friends welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to take a look at how we can set up authentication for Elasticsearch and Kiwana so that no unauthorized person is allowed to view our data as a default setting uh, there is no authentication uh, or authorization mechanism built in into Kiwana interface that restricts uh, any user from accessing the data of Elasticsearch or any other uh, application that is uh, attached with the Elasticsearch and their data is being visualized on Kibana but uh, there is an option that can be used in order to uh, configure authentication mechanism on Elasticsearch and Kibana so this is uh, this is done by using XPack if you haven't watched my previous video go ahead and watch that out in that video we covered on how we can uh, set up uh, HTTPS uh, on all our services and establish a secure communication between those services uh, if you haven't checked that out you must uh, check that out before doing this so it is a part one and this is the part two in which we are going to set up authentication mechanism so let's get started so first of all what we need to do is we need to edit a few things in the Elasticsearch config so open your server and I am going to nano etc Elasticsearch and Elasticsearch.yml and hit enter and over here scroll down and where you see xpack dot security uh, dot enable is equal to true just uncomment that line so over here it should be just over here add xpack dot security dot so, and save the file yes, and hit enter now just restart the elastic search Just wait for it to come back up. So there is some error. Let's see what it is. So it is enabled, not enabled, so that's why our Elasticsearch just crashed. So make sure you type everything correctly so you don't run into any kind of error. Just save it now and just restart again. Let's see if it gives us an error again or not. It is giving us an error.
so the error was just because of for, uh, for, uh, formatting in the YML file as you can see over here in the status it is showing us that YML parser was not able to parse the config file so the error was that let me show you if I open up my config so in the starting of the, uh, of the config file I mistakenly press tab and added a tab space uh, and in the YML uh, config format is not very uh, sensitive to the tab spaces and if you uh, mistakenly add any tab space in your config file then the parcel will not be able to pass that config file and will throw an exception and that's why the uh, Elasticsearch service was not running so now that we have fixed that just restart Elasticsearch service again and once that's done just to verify if everything is working with Elasticsearch just go to your browser and visit the port for Elasticsearch and if you are able to get a response back that means that our Elasticsearch service is working and we are also going to be running a curl so as you can see over here that we enabled the authentication protocol within the config file that's why we are getting this error that mean that our configuration is working and now we need to specify the uh, passwords and credentials for this service so let's uh, start with that now to generate uh, passwords uh, for our Elasticsearch instance uh, what we need to do is we need to run this command Elasticsearch come with a utility Elasticsearch.setup passwords so what it does is it automatically configures all the passwords for Kibana Wazoo and the user uh, Kibana uh, Elasticsearch and the users related to the in these services and let's run this and it will print out the output of all the passwords so it is asking us if you really want to continue just hit yes and enter and now it is going to generate random passwords for all the users so it is a good practice to copy all these passwords into a separate file so that you don't misplace them so I am going to copy them so I am going to paste them over here and let's continue and after that we have to change some uh, settings within Kibana and Filebit because file, uh, currently Filebit and Kibana are not using any authentication to communicate with Elasticsearch and now that we have set up authentication uh, if uh, Filebit made any request to Elasticsearch it will not be able to uh, get any data back from Elasticsearch because of authentication failure so we need to fix that so just edit file bit, uh, file bits uh, config and over here we need to add these two lines so just copy this and go to your text editor paste it over here and over here we need to use this password so I am going to replace this string with this and cut it from here and then I will paste it at the end of the uh, config file so just paste it over here control x y to save and hit enter and now just restart your file bit service system ctl restart file bit and hit enter and after that we need to edit config for Kibana so to do that just nano adc Kibana and kibana.yml and hit enter 
and over here we need to add a few things scroll up and you will see this over here so we need to enable two things over here the first thing is just uncomment this line where it requires the username and password for elasticsearch just uncomment it and right space and over here change the username to elastic elastic and we are going to paste the password that we just generated just copy the password and paste it over here and after that we need to add a, another line to uh, tell Kibana that we are using xpack security so just copy this and just paste it over here and save the config file yes and now what we need to do is just restart Kibana and just to see if all the configs are working what you can do is you can run file beat test output and hit enter and it will tell you that yeah all the authentication and login details were correct and they are working and we are able to communicate with Elasticsearch so just let's also visit Elasticsearch in our browser and see if we are uh, presented with any authentication and let's wait so as you can see over here we are greeted with a HTTP authentication so go to your file and copy the password and username is elastic and just paste the password and hit enter and this should work and you should get a response back from Elasticsearch uh, now we need to see if it has worked on Kibana so as you can see it expired the session and if we go ahead and access Kibana again we are let's see if Kibana has generated any kind of error so we are there is some error in Kibana so we need to fix that So let me see what is the error. So the error is over here. The true was not spelled correctly. Uh, just type it correctly and just save the file again and just restart Kibana. So let's see if this will fix the error. and hit enter to see the status if Kibana is uh, crashing again or not and 
it seems like it is running yes I guess it is working so there is another just let me see what it is now it's up and running again so the problem was just the same as previously that was with Elasticsearch there was a YML config uh, indentation problem or spacing problem so just let me show you so if I go back to my config file and scroll down where we added the Elasticsearch authentication over here what uh, I did was I mistakenly removed a space between the colon and the password so this space was missing and it was like this and uh, the YML parser was not able to parse this correctly and throw an exception so these are a few things that you need to take uh, keep in mind while uh, working with YML files and com in config files that, uh, that are related to different services so that you don't mess up anything accidentally and uh, stop it from working so if now we reload we are uh, making a complete request to Elasticsearch and Kibana and now it will uh, will prompt us to log in with our required username and password so let's see and wait for the interface to load So over here you can see that we are immediately greeted with the login page so over here just type elastic which is the username and just paste the password over here and hit login and not now and we are going to be logged into the Kibana interface and we will be able to access all the things that we uh, normally will be able to access all the dashboards all the plugins that are installed in your Kibana interface uh, like wazoo or any other uh, uh, thing related to wazoo like yeah, elastic search string so you will be able to access that also over here so that's it for this video if you have any question regarding uh, what we did in this video and how we set up the authentication uh, settings and configurations do comment down below and do let us know and we will be uh, we will see if we can help you in any way uh, possible so thanks for watching do subscribe to our channel hit the like button and do uh, do press that bell icon to get notifications and see you in the next one